and we have a monthly income in the ratio 5 is to 6 and monthly expenditure in the ratio 3 is to 4. If they save 1800 and 1600 respectively, find the monthly income of P. So we have A and B here and their income is in the ratio 5 is to 6. Their expenditure is in the ratio 3 is to 4. Their savings are 1800 and 1600 respectively. So if you want to find out income, expenditure and savings of any question, you can use a simple method here. That is write the income unit in the first row, expenditure unit in the second row and savings unit in the third row. Now I will take income unit as X and expenditure unit as Y. Now if you want to find the value of X, take the first and second row and mark the first value then cross multiply between 5 and 4 then subtract 6 into 3 from it. This will be your denominator of X that is 5 into 4 minus 6 into 3 will be your denominator of X. Now if you want to find out the numerator of X, take the second and third row mark the second value of second row then cross multiply between 4 into 18 then subtract 3 into 16 from it. This will be your numerator that is 4 into 1800 minus 3 into 1600. Now 4 into 18 is equal to 72, 3 into 16 is equal to 48. So 72 minus 48 is equal to 24. So 2400 divided by 5 into 4 is equal to 20, 6 into 3 is equal to 18, 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. So 2400 divided by 2 is equal to 1200. So your x value is equal to 1200. That means B's income, B's income is equal to 6x is equal to 6 into 1200 is equal to 7200. So your answer is option D. Now if you want to find out y value directly from this method, you can apply 6 value that is 7200 minus 1600 will be 4y. You can find out y value from this but if you find out y value directly from this method, just write down 5x, 6x, 3y, 4y, then 1800, 1600. Your y value will be, that is expenditure unit will be, denominator will be same as 5 into 4 minus 3 into 6. But numerator will be, mark the second value of first row and cross multiply between 6 into 1800 minus 5 into 1600. 6 into 1800 minus 5 into 1600. This will be your y value. So you can find out y value directly from this method like this. This will be common to all income, expenditure and savings questions. Now if you want to find out this using linear equation method that is take this two as two row as, two columns as linear equation that is income minus expenditure is equal to savings that is 5x minus 3y is equal to 1800 and 6x minus 4y is equal to 1600. Now you can use the Vedic math method to solve these linear equations. If you don't know that method, check the link in this description. I have already done a video about Vedic math trick for solving linear equations. So you can check the link in this description. So here your answer is option D.